Hi guys, how's it going? Nice warm day in the UK today. Weather app says it's 26 degrees C. Got my garden stuff set up. I'm going to go and uh, put a couple of chairs out. <coughs> put the umbrella up and go and uh, drink tea in the garden, I think. So I was watching the skies earlier. And we had a lovely clear blue sky and there wasn't an aeroplane trail in sight and on the horizon over there and to the um to the south over there they started to manifest aeroplane trails and i was hoping the wind was blowing the other way but they've all blown over this way so I was listing stuff on eBay and I thought, oh, I'll film it. I'll film the uh, trails coming over. And it, I turned my back and I was listing stuff on eBay for about 20 minutes. And in that short period of time, the trails came over and filled the sky, look. None of those are natural clouds. They're all aeroplane trails. So anyway, we're having a scorching day and um, I read in the Daily Express that we're going to have a hot week, a heat wave, and then they reckon the weekend the temperature is going to go over 40 degrees C. So just for the record, right, the hottest it's ever been in the UK since records began is 37 degrees C, as far as I know without checking, but it's never gone that high. So the Daily Express reckon it's going to hit 40 degrees C, which will be a new record high for all time. And I read in the sun today that the temperature is going to be 43 degrees C. All right, well, body temperature is 37. And when it gets over 37, it gets uncomfortably hot. And I know because I've been to Australia and um, when it goes over 37, when we're in Australia, literally there's no way to get cool because even if you sit in front of a fan and the fan's blowing air at you, it's blowing warm air at you because it's uh, warmer than your body temperature. So the only way to get cool is you either have to get air conditioning so you can sit in a car or you can go to a shopping centre or something that's got air conditioning. Otherwise, you just sit around drinking cold drinks and eventually you get used to it, you what you do what's called acclimatise. But, um, yeah, it takes a while. I was in Australia for about four months and I did get used to it, but it's uh, unbearably hot at first. But for the record, 43 degrees C is a hot day in Australia. And um, it's not not unusual to be that hot in Australia, but it's never heard of in the UK so uh, be interesting to see what the temperature does the weekend but also for the record not once have I ever read a weather report from the Daily Express that's been accurate <laughs> every every time I've read what the Daily Express has said about the weather it's always been wrong but anyway so it's supposed to be 26 degrees C today but um I was just about to clean my teeth. There's my latest painting, I'll show you that in a minute. So I'm just about to clean my teeth with coconut oil, because I brush with coconut oil. And check this out. The coconut oil is completely solid. And coconut oil dissolves between 20 degrees C and about 22 degrees C. So at 26 degrees C, that should be liquid. And it's only just starting to melt. Just a little bit of it running out, but all the rest of it is solid, look. And it will melt on your skin because your skin's more like body temperature. 
Anyway, I brush my teeth with that. That's good stuff, coconut oil. Natural, organic. Make sure it's um, raw, cold pressed, extra virgin, organic coconut oil. Keep your teeth healthy. Better than fluoride anyway. Or you can pull with it. Google coconut pulling. Well, you don't have to brush at all, but I prefer brushing with it. But anyway. So, um, that's what I was going to say. So, that coconut oil melts at 20 degrees C. It's supposed to be 26 today. My coconut oil hasn't even melted, so don't know what's going on. I don't have a thermometer. I just checked the weather app on my phone, but it doesn't seem to be that warm today. It's kind of humid and a bit warm, but the... Um, the clouds have come over, the chem clouds, the aeroplane trails. I don't use that word because Google's speech recognition spots the word and then shadow bans your video. Not that my channel is not shadow banned anyway. But anyway, this, this sky was literally clear about half an hour ago. Check this out. And of course the sun now has gone a hazy white colour, which is not clear, true sunlight. Anyway, so um, I finished a painting last night, or two nights ago, uh, finished all bar a few details, and I call this the Hand of God. Check this out. So that's from a photograph I took of the Milky Way at night, obviously, down at uh, Steep Hill Cove on the Isle of Wight. So if you know the Isle of Wight, you'll recognise that. The only bit I'm not happy with is that wall, because the, uh, the mortar, I embossed the mortar and it kind of stands out a bit. But I thought the Milky Way looks like a big hand, so I called it the hand of God. Anyway, I actually sell coconut oil and I've got, got the cheapest price on eBay. So if you go and check my store in the video description, check my eBay store, uh, you can go and get some cheap coconut oil. It's very good for all kinds of things. It's very good for your skin, rashes, uh, you can brush your teeth with it. Moisturise your skin, you can cook with it, you can eat it. it tastes lovely and uh, it's good for you. Oh, and you can also use it as lubricant, if you know what I mean. Right guys, that's my little video, much longer than I thought it would be. Eight minutes, something. Um, so that's all good. I'm not going to do a, a latest news political update, because there's been so much going on lately, but you've obviously heard about the Georgia Guidestones and the fire in the Vatican and the um, ex-Japanese Prime Minister being shot and Boris Johnson resigning and all those things happening all at the same time, all on the same date, which happened to coincide with George Bush Jr.'s birthday. But anyway, that's for another video. Right, guys, have a lovely week. Hope the weather stays nice. Hope the weather stays not too hot. And if it becomes overwhelmingly hot, get cold drinks in, put some ice cubes in the fridge, get some ice pops in in advance, and uh, just enjoy the weather and drink cold drinks and eat ice pops. All right, guys, that's my little video. <laughs> Sorry it's been so long, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks very much for watching.